Hi guys, welcome back. So thank you for all those who wish me on my birthday on the YouTube channel, also on the Facebook. So thanks for that. I never feel that blessed uh, on any of my birthday. And uh, also because of you guys, my old channel just uh, got three uh, three hundred thousand views, and I received my first payment. So I bought a uh, new Euphoria in that price, which I got my payment. Of course, it's a, a more pricier phone than that, but because for you guys, I purchased it uh, to do reviews. Cause it's a pure Android phone running Cyanogen OS. Besides, it it's my first phone which is not running Samsung uh, TouchWiz. So let's get into it. So today I'm going to show you how to get the Smart Manager on your Galaxy S4 or the Note 3. Cause every uh, phone uh, or old Galaxy phone has got it uh, running KitKat 2 like Note 2. Uh, KitKat has got it, also Note 3, Note 4, but some of the devices like the Indian firmware of the uh, S4 i9-500 is not showing up the smart manager, which is kind of a bug. Let me just focus. Okay. Uh, which is kind of a bug in the firmware. And uh, let me just tell you, you will get a Kai's 2.3 update before that. Let me just show you. Uh, here as you can see no not sorry guys not snox 2.3 update and right after that you will get another 363 mb update of performance which uh, improves the battery per, uh, battery optimization and performance a lot but it will also give you a smart manager but you will not get the smart manager over here you have to just go to the settings now i have read your comments uh, on my last video where I reviewed the latest firmware from Afghanistan or anything like that. It had a smart manager but the Indian firmware didn't have it. But as today I updated my Galaxy S4 on the stock ROM. I just looked up in the all for debloating the phone and I just found that as the comment was mentioned the smart manager provider was there but the smart manager app was not there. And I just went off. Okay. So I just went to the smart manager and you have to do it. Go to the manage storage clear the data go back it will just force close it go to the touch with uh, home clear the data again and go back and it will take a second or so and you will lose your google widget just remove it and get it back nobody cares about it <laughs> anyway okay so when you will go in the menu for this time you will get your smart manager present on the third tab right over there and as you can see it's fully working but the special thing about this smart manager compared to the other phones is this is smart manager provider it's not a smart manager because it's not whole app as you can see you don't get ultra power saving instead you get a uh, app optimization just like the marshmallow which is uh, kind of cool and it's learning usage pattern since 3 hours I don't know what it's doing but let it be as you can see you get apps over here automatically optimized always on power saving ok ok this is a very cool feature I'm seeing in first time in my life so I will recommend you guys to check it out also the RAM manager is also working and every other feature is working cause it's provided by the Samsung so it should work great and it's good that Samsung is implementing in this thing into the KitKat ROMs 2 of the S4 Mini and the Note 2. Also device security is also here present but we do get snocks for that. Also for storage powered by C Cleaner, C Clean Master sorry. We can direct unnecessary catch. So guys thanks for watching. Also subscribe to my channel for more Galaxy S4 videos and peace.